Hello and good morning and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet and More with Jeannie. Today is Monday and I just wanted to come on and show you what I'm working on. I am working on a bat wing sweater. It is a pattern by Jolie Knotts. It is a paid for pattern. And also she has tutorials for left and right hand um, on YouTube. And I will leave the links to all that information in the description box down below. Just one click of a button and it'll take you to either the pattern or the tutorials. But I will say this, if you get the pattern, make sure to watch the tutorial especially on the part where it starts to increase. Watch her do row 11 and row 12. After that, you'll be able to do it on your own. Um, she is known as Jolie Knights on Ravelry. Her name is Crystal. So, I am enjoying making this. I cannot wait. I love Batwing style shirts and stuff. So, you start out working the band that you see here, and then you work it up. And once you're done with all your increases, then you're going to work the front panel and back and forth rows, and then the back panel and back and forth rows. Put it together, and voila, you are done. Simple, right? Right. I like simple patterns. <laughs> But let me welcome each and every one of y'all into the Crochet Oasis. You know you are always welcome. My door remains open. Again, unless the hubby is home and then I keep that sucker closed because... Just because. <laughs> but if you are not part of the Butterfly Squad, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notification bell to off. Leave me a comment down below if you are new and let me know. That way I can uh, welcome you into the Oasis. I do lives on Mondays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I also alternate Wednesdays with Cynthia from Cynthia's um, Joyful Creations on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time um, for the Yarny Fiber Sisters. So make sure to check us out on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will be going live today and I also will be having my members only live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we're going to talk about this some more. I just wanted to welcome each and every one of y'all in and everything and thank y'all for stopping by and spending time with me. Um... So kudos to y'all for that. I appreciate each and every one of you all. So let's talk about the yarn right quick. So the yarn that I'm using is the, uh, this is me finna say premiere, the Line Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. This is a three weight yarn. You get 392 yards, 358 meters. You get 50% cotton and 50% polyester. For those that like the ounces, seven ounces, 200 grams. They recommend a six millimeter crochet hook and a 4.5 millimeter knit needle or size seven. Um, it is a three weight, I mentioned that. And the color is Ocean Breeze. There we go, Ocean Breeze. Now, do you see my hook? You see all this discoloration? This is my six millimeter dot hook. I have a pink and purple ombre hook now. This yarn bled on my hook. Also, I was sitting here when I was crocheting with it and I was like, I'm not having trouble breathing, but I'm turning blue. It turned my hands blue as well, y'all. So, if you have this yarn, you crochet with it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fade. It's going to bleed on you. 
So I would recommend that you use an all steel hook or aluminum hook without a handle unless you have a handle that is like a hard plastic. Um, like this one was. This was black. I call this my fake tulip hook. Um, my daughter did this design on it. But if you have something like that, that would be fine. But if not, just a regular aluminum crochet hook. I did wipe it with alcohol. Um, it was a lot worse and a lot darker. And when I did it with alcohol, that is what turned it into the ombre effect. The With the purples. It turned it purple. Which I'm fine with because y'all know purple is my favorite color. So I am working on my increase rows. And after this row... I will have five left. Then I can start on my front panel and my back panel. Then I can put them together and then I can try it on. Now I'm going to be disappointed if I put this on and it's way too big or it's not big enough. <laughs> These do go up to a... This pattern is sized all the way up to a 4X. So, I am doing... The 2X would be my size, but I did make the 3X. Just because I want to make sure. Um, and I normally do go wrong when I do that. It normally is way too big, but the band fits me perfect, so I'm okay with the top part being, you know, a little looser or anything on me. Who knows, you might see me wearing this tonight on the lives. And I'll get those scheduled after I um, get finished with this video. So be looking out for the link for the members only live as well as the uh, regular Monday night live. And yes, you do need stitch markers to work this pattern. And with the increase, you're only increasing by two V stitches each row. No more than that. So you need to be able to mark where you have to work at on your points. So how was y'all's weekend? Mine was kind of laid back but busy as well. Um, our son came Friday evening and cut down five trees. And he did an amazing job. Uh, my husband and I. My husband loves to say they're my children when they do something bad and they're his children when they do something good. But I beat him to the punch on this time. I said, look at my son. He's doing such a good job. And my husband said, oh, he's your son. Yeah, he's doing good. He said, well, you beat me to the punch on that one. I said, yep, sure did. So they got everything chipped up and all that stuff and the yard cleaned up. So that was good but other than that it was kind of a laid back I gotta make him a 
a panel to go on his door of his big truck in the back. So when he opens up the side door, you can't see his bed and stuff. I have the material. And he went and did the cutout. We went to Dollar Tree and got some poster paper. Poster board. And um, he cut it out for my pattern. I just got to redo it on another one. Because it's got to be 2 feet, 24 inches. And it's round at the top. And I got some um, snaps coming that we're going to replace. They won't be here till tomorrow. So I'll show y'all that once I get it made. But um, I'm not going to do a tutorial or anything on it because it's for a big truck. But I'm using some faux leather material that I got from Hobby Lobby on it and uh, yeah oh and I noticed when we went to Walmart they have restocked their mandala cakes um they had some sparkle and they had um, I'm not sure if they got new colors or not, but they had a whole, where the main stage yarn used to be on the end cap, they had replaced that with all mandalas. I'm going today sometime or another. I'll do a little recording of it. And post it to the short video. I like doing stuff like that, so if someone sees something that they need, you know where you can get it from. You can just contact me and let me know and I can pick it up for you. I don't know why that's, maybe because it's, hold on a second. I just brought y'all down a little bit closer, but... Let me, let me tell y'all, if you're going to use this comfy cotton and if you've never used it, I do recommend that you either cake it up and hold on to it as you're caking it so that you're pushing this, see that little white strand running through there? See how to do. And eventually, it'll buckle up like that and form like a little round knot. And it will make your project look a little wonky in spots. Um, I do have some of that here in mind somewhere, but because of the type of yarn that it is, it's not visible to the eye. A bead would work to help with that problem, but don't use a wood bead unless it's super smooth on the inside. I would recommend a pony bead, which is the plastic ones. Um, just make sure it doesn't have any leftover plastic on the inside of it to where it'll catch on it. And I'm not sure that if me caking it up actually helped that out or not, but, um, it's definitely made a difference. I did have to rip this back to row 10 and redo, um, uh, my increase rows. And I had did all my increase rows and was getting ready to do my, well, I had done my front panel and realized that it wasn't the same on both sides. So I had to rip it back to row 10 and start over. So now I have five rows to go. So I'm going to continue working on this. Hopefully y'all see me in it tonight. If you see me in it, then you know I finished it. <laughs> but thank y'all so much for stopping by and spending part of your day with me. Um, I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you all. And until the next video, be kind, remember to smile, and let me know what y'all think about this yarn. Have y'all had this yarn to bleed on y'all while crocheting with it? Now just imagine what it's going to do when you wash it. Better wash it by itself. Maybe hand wash it. 
And I wonder with this beige cream color, will it turn it a different color? We shall see, won't we? All right, y'all. Y'all take care. I love you all. See y'all in the next video. Thank you.